today we like to talk about autonomy. And autonomy means how to help your children to speak up from themselves. So today we're going to give you 10 tools that you can pick up from your toolbox and use it for helping your child in that way. So first, feelings. Name the feelings and name what's going on because sometimes they don't understand what's happening with them. You put words on that. Number two, listening. Listening much more than trying to fix or blame. Listen what they need to say. Number three, modeling. We all need help from other people. So modeling that there are things that you don't know how to do and you have your friends or your family and you, you show them how to ask for, for, for help when they need it. Number four, embarrassment. Why are we embarrassing our children, especially in front of other family members, even their sister or their brother? Keep that stuff to them and them alone. We need to five, development. We do not know the stages of development that they are understanding their bodies. So we need to bring it ourselves and think about their development and how much is in the skills that they know. Number six, trust. Let them trust you. If you don't embarrass them or you understand their development, they will begin to trust you and say, mom, I really need to talk to you in private. Can you please come here? And that's very, very important. That is huge. You are really, really right. Because if we don't offer that, they are not going to trust us and they're going to feel alone. And, you know, as adults and parents, we really need to help our kids to feel secure. So I would like to keep going with number seven. Number seven is recognize. Recognize the effort they are doing. Recognize the strengths they have. Instead of, you know, always talk about what they did wrong or what the skills they, they didn't have at the moment, you know, recognize that, you know, you did that and you was not able to do that in the past. And now you name that and you ask for help and you speak up for yourself and you show your feelings and you manage your feelings in a healthy way. That's so important because they are going to grow in their self-esteem. You know, so many times we focus only in the things that are not doing well. And number eight is support. Support this growing, this development and support the choices they do because it's not all about you and what you want for your child. They may have different choices and you need to support them. They are going to face the consequences and know if it was a right choice or maybe not a right choice and they need to change next time. But it's, it's a growing and understanding that can need to come from inside to outside. So I'm going to so continue important. with uh, yeah. nine expectations. Okay. So you expect them to know what they don't know. And when you expect them, you're always going to be disappointed because you thought that they knew what they didn't. Let's give an example. Okay, so you're packing on a trip and you have a tween. A tween is between, you know, 12 and 16. Sit down, work with them and let them understand. Do you have your toothbrush? Do you have your washcloth? Do you have your pads? Just in case you get your ministration. So these are things that we need to help our children. Don't just expect them to know. Put yourself in their shoes and make sure that they have everything that they need. Empathy. If they do something wrong, empathize with them. Understand their feelings. Maybe they're sad and they want to cry, but they don't have anybody to go to. So you say, listen, I understand that this happened, and you go privately and you talk about it and give them that hug that they may need. These are the 10 tools that we need to always think of when it comes to our children. Because with these tools, 
You can always know more or learn more through Parent Enhancement Program. That is what we're here for. Yeah, and I would like to add that there are other tools that we offer for different other situations and different stages of our kids. And when we talk about a parent coach, it's not only about a baby or a toddler. As you perfectly said, in the tweens and teens and adult life, they also need our guidance and they need to know that they can come to us with whatever is happening. I'm an adult and I'm still going to my mom for, you know, talking about what's going on and help me to understand which way I need to go. So it's not about only, you know, babies. And I think there's so much investment in the first years. And then we forgot that our twins and our teens and our young adults or adults need us so much. So there's so much to talk about and we can keep it for another talk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. And always we are here and we will show up. Thank you. 